Hey guys, what's up? It's Angelina and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to bring to you guys a Ipsy vs. Boxy unboxing for the month of January. Thank you so much to both of the teams at Ipsy and BoxyCharm. Let's just get right on into it. We're going to be starting with BoxyCharm this month. So as you guys know, or maybe this is your first time watching a BoxyCharm unboxing, but it comes in this cute little package. And then it also comes with a little pamphlet in order for you to read it. And with BoxyCharm, you do actually get a price breakdown of every product in the box and a description. Very nice and lovely. The theme this month is so fresh, so clean, which I thought was a little weird, but I mean, maybe it's in terms of like resetting for the month. I don't know. The first thing on the list is from Wander Beauty. We normally see a lot of Wander Beauty in BoxyCharm and Ipsy, so not really much of a surprise, but this is the Sweet Escape palette and it retails for $42 and it is an exclusive drop which makes me think it's exclusive to BoxyCharm which sometimes I like that but most of the time I don't really enjoy when it's exclusive to BoxyCharm because that means if I want to recommend it to somebody the only way they can get it is through BoxyCharm you know so sometimes that's inconvenient but the packaging is very cute and I just thought that this is such a good palette it is so pretty there's like purples in here and just some really fun shades and I don't know how well you guys can see it but it looks so pretty in person very excited to get use out of this you have some shimmers you have some mattes and it looks like a fun palette so excited about this one this is cruelty free and the shelf life is 12 months in case you were wondering this is the earth harbor naturals it is a adaptogen clarity Ampoule, the answer to finding peaceful energy and the light within your skin. Both a potent clarifying treatment and a gentle glow enhancing elixir to help distress skin prone to acne, blemishes, and excess oil. Okay, so this actually sounds like something that I should try out because I do have acne prone skin. Retails for $46 and it's not exclusive to BoxyCharm. So this is also plant based, holistic, vegan, cruelty free. Fair trade, sustainable, woman owned, small batch made. It has a bunch of things on the back. Look at how fun that is. You have like a purpley color at the bottom and it's like an ombre. Okay, from Persona Cosmetics, we have an E Balm tinted lip balm, which is just a tinted lip balm and it retails for $22 from Persona. The only thing I know about Persona, oh wait, this is not it. This is it. <laughs> the only thing I know from Persona is the persona like blush sticks that everybody talks about and i really wish that we would have gotten some blush sticks but this is like a vegan gluten-free e-balm very interesting i like that sound and i already have something on my lips but we're gonna try to see if i can put this over my lipstick my mirror is like so old that it just moves by itself you know Okay, so this is really pigmented for like a lip balm, and I know it's a tinted lip balm, but that was just not what I was expecting. That is straight up colorful. Honestly, it looks really good with the look I did today, but I mean, I was expecting some light balminess and not a lot of color. True and Luscious Angel Eye Primer retails for $22. It's a hydrating eye primer that locks in your eyeshadow and concealer for crease proof, no smudge wear for up to 16 hours. A tinted formula that corrects redness and creates an even canvas. There's more description, but that's all I'll read. It's vegan, cruelty free, and safety tested. Oh, okay, so it's like a traditional base color, which is what I was expecting. You guys can see. I'll be giving this one a try. Oh, it's in the shade Light Nude. So obviously not a shade that's like gonna be nude for everyone because everyone's skin tone is different. But I think when it comes to like eyeshadow primer, that's a pretty good shade. Shania B Miami, it's a cream blush and it retails for $18. It's a new brand to Boxy. Although I wanna say I received this brand last month, like in December, 
and I can't remember if it was Ipsy or if it was BoxyCharm, but it's just a brand I've never heard of, and I have yet to try their products. Definitely a balmy formula, which I normally like creams. Okay, it feels like a straight up balm. And I think you guys can see, but that's, but it's very pink actually. This is the Ipsy box for January, and I do get the regular Glam Bag and the Glam Bag Plus. So this month for Ipsy, the theme is the year of you. Forget reinvention, throw resolutions out the door, never mind starting over. This year, just focus on doing you and discovering what makes you happy. So it's very like fun and like it's not giving January to me. It's kind of giving like Easter and spring with the colors that they chose. And the bag is very fuzzy and purple and it has some green. And it's an interesting bag pick for sure. Now let's get into what's in the bag. So the thing is, when it comes to Ipsy, they do not do that breakdown, which I kind of hate because I really want to know the breakdown and I want to know like what's in my my bag, you know, and how much it costs without having to like scour the internet for it. Is that even a word? Scour? I don't know. Forza Beauty, the Nebula Shimmer Eyeshadow, and it's like a tiny little quad. I mean, I feel like we get stuff like this all the time. But that one shade is kind of calling my name because it looks like a duochrome and I don't think it actually is. Okay, yeah, it's not. So just a traditional like everyday kind of palette. We see these pretty often in these boxes. So then we have Dew of the Gods and this is a Feels Mini Squalane and Oat Milk. It's a dry erase facial scrub. So I probably won't be using this and I'll be gifting this to somebody, but... It's cute, and we have seen this brand before. Then we also have from Shania B, um, we have a lip gloss in the shade Fissy Chips. I have a lot of lip products, so I'll be gifting this as well. From NARS, we have a Velvet Matte Lip Pencil in the shade Dolce Vita, which this is exciting because I love NARS. Don't know about you guys, but as you guys can see, that's a Dolce Vita color, kind of like an auburn -y red but not fully red kind of like orangey red so that's it for the ipsy glam bag and we're gonna get into the ipsy glam bag plus this is actually the packaging again it's giving spring it's not giving like new years so in terms of this one i see a lot of things that i really like so we're gonna start with this and this is the tarte drink of h2o and it is a moisturizer which I totally got this. Um, I want to say I got this in like an Ipsy X Tarte box. Just a moisturizer, but I mean, obviously we all know and love Tarte. So I'm very excited about this because I can always use a good moisturizer. Then we have from a brand I've never heard before. This is Hey Honey. It's a sweet treat wild berry and honey yogurt recovery mask. Um, it's supposed to improve dull skin and cruelty free, clean beauty. You know the rundown. Then from Fleur and B, we have a vitamin C serum, which is pretty good. I use vitamin C every single day. This one is cruelty free, sustainably made, and 100% vegan. It's made without parabens, sulfates, or artificial fragrances. So, I mean, this is a good find, I think, for anybody. Like, vitamin C is so good for you for like dullness and for hyperpigmentation. And then this one I was really excited about because I actually was going to purchased this on my own which we'll talk about in another video i'm on a low buy for basically the entire year um but uh milk makeup like that is so cool this is the milk makeup rise mascara the lift length and volumizing mascara it's exciting for me because i'm trying to get into more of like my natural lashes on like a daily basis Definitely not like when I'm going out. I think I'm just a lash girl at heart, but this is exciting and I'm so happy. It's a full size mascara. There you go. You can see, you know, what the wand looks like and it looks like a wand that I like. I'm excited. And then last but not least, we have a little tiny brush and it's from Half Caked. It's an 816 crease brush. 
I mean, I personally like brushes. I know that we get a brush in like probably every single subscription, you know, these days. This is an up close of the bristles. So that is it. That is my Ipsy versus BoxyCharm for the month of January. Definitely let me know what you guys think. I mean, did you prefer your Ipsy box or your BoxyCharm this month? And I will say, I think this month Ipsy won. I feel like I have been mainly into BoxyCharm for the past few months, but I don't know, this month Ipsy killed it with the Glam Bag Plus, you know, the Tarte Moisturizer, the mascara from Milk, like the vitamin C, I feel like that's a little bit more up my alley and products I will be using. I look forward to subscription boxes because it's just like an exciting surprise every month and maybe things I would have not necessarily tried out or especially like um, in the past few months I've been getting some Fenty things and I feel like I never really go out of my way to purchase Fenty but the few items that I've been trying through these boxes have really like made me more interested in the brand. So, you know, it's been like such a cool experience um, getting a box every single month. So thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. We are trying to hit 1K on this channel, which I think we can do. I think we can do. We have all year to do it. So. Thank you so much for supporting my channel and if you want to check me out on my other platforms, check me out on TikTok and Instagram. I post short form beauty content there as well as a few lifestyle, fashion things mixed in. So thank you so much and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.